Let's convert a binary number to a decimal. And in binary, remember the only digits that we can use are 0 or 1. So the number will for, uh, be seen as a series of 1s or 0s. Right? Even the decimal part, and I would still insist on using the decimal part because uh, why stop only for integral values, right? So uh, uh, let me not extend it too much. So in binary, what is this number in decimal? <sighs> we'll work with the integral part. So we'll take the zero or uh, decimal part as a separator to the left R whole powers of 2 starting with 2 raised to 0 and since that is 1 so that will be 1 into 2 raised to 0 the 0 is going to be 0 into 2 raised to 1 the next 0 0 into 2 square then there's a 1 so that will be 1 into 2 cube a 0 into 2 raised to 4 there are two ones so i'll just write it quickly 1 into 2 raised to 5 and 1 into 2 raised to 6 i'll just do a check 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes 2 raised to 6 these are your positional values and continuing this 1 will be 1 into 2 raised to minus 1. I am writing it as 1 by 2. So there is a 0, 0 into 1 by 2 square. That is a 4. And there is a 1 again. So 1 into 2 cube. Now, this when we calculate as per decimal, then we are going to get a decimal equivalent. Right? So, uh, 2 raised to 6 is nothing but uh, 64 plus 32. 16 into 0 is a 0. 8 into 1 is 1. 4 into 0 is a 0. 2 into 0 is a 0. 2 raised to 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is a 1. Look here, we are talking about powers of 2. Later on in a session, it will help us. 64, 32, 16. 16 is not present. It's a 0. 8. After 8, 4 is not present. 2 is not present. 2 raised to 1 is present. Right? Continue. 1 by 2 is nothing but 0.5. This is a 0. And 1 by 8 is a 0.125. So just add them up. 96. 96 and 8, 104 and 1, 105 is the integral part, right? To work on the decimal part will be 0.625 and that's my answer in decimals. A quick last example of hexadecimal and in hexadecimal, let's say we are finding uh, a number which reads as 27, the, the alphabet D. This is an alphabet D in decimal. Right? Let's not get decimals here because if I've not mentioned, hardly any exam has ever asked with decimal values. But since I want to do a complete theory and not just leave it, uh, you know, half explain half the part and the other part not. So I am doing the decimal part, but not for hexadecimal. So positional values, the D has a positional value of 16 raised to 0. The 7 has a positional value of 16 raised to 1 and the 2 has a positional value of 16 square. When this number in hexadecimal will look as 27D. But we want it in decimal, so do these calculations as in decimal. In decimal, 16 square is 256. I insist on writing this so that you don't get a wrong idea. The moment you say 16 square is 256, we have used our language. Okay, so 2. 7 into 16, let's just leave it. Okay, I'll, I'll do the calculation later. Now, what do you do with D? Beginners might have to go back to the margin. A is nothing but 10. B is 11. These are the decimal equivalents, students, right? Oh, sorry, 13. Am I right? 
about D. Okay. And uh, so D is going to be 13 into 16 raised to 0. That's a 1. So to wind it up, uh, 512, am I right? Yes. 70 and 56, 126. No. 70 and 42, 112 and a 30. That's going to be 624, 34, 637 in decimal systems. Let me check once again. 7, 3, 637. Yes. 